Right now at 5, where is Kelly Dwyer? Milwaukee police search a landfill for the third day in a row looking for clues, but with no luck. Dwyer disappeared two weeks ago. Her family's been searching for her, but over the weekend, police hinted that she may be dead. Yona Gavino spent the day tracking down leads. What have you learned, Yona? Yeah, Mike and Carol, right now, officials seem to be focusing on one man, Chris Zocco. Now, he hasn't been charged with murder, but over the weekend, the prosecutors did call him, quote, a suspect in a probable homicide investigation. And today, he appeared in court on drug charges. He didn't say too much, but he kept shaking his head in disbelief. Chris Zocco sat in court for the third time in a week and a half. A judge ordered him to stand trial on drug charges. Police searched his apartment after Kelly Dwyer disappeared. They found cocaine and oxycodone in his apartment. Prosecutors on Saturday told a judge he may be a suspect in her disappearance. This defendant is a very key suspect in a missing person and probable homicide investigation. I spoke with Zocco's attorney after his court appearance. Are you worried still about Kelly Dwyer? Concerned about her? I can't comment on anything with respect to Ms. Dwyer. That's an ongoing investigation. Police also found child pornography inside Zocco's apartment. He was charged with 17 counts of possession of child porn Friday. The penalties for that are huge, up to $1.7 million in fines and 425 years in jail if convicted. But the drug charges and child porn charges have not brought us any closer to finding out what happened to Kelly Dwyer. Police searched a landfill in Menominee Falls for the third time in a row. So far, they haven't found any evidence. And coming up on Live at 6, we'll bring you more from what happened today in court. Live in Milwaukee, Yona Gavino, today's TMJ4. Yona, thank you very much. Well,